myself. Okay. And have you ever heard that when people pee in the rivers in the Amazon, yeah. there's this fish? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that jumps out of the water and goes into the people's genitals. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it was just a myth a few years ago, oh. but now it is proven, and this is it. So it is perfect. It is perfect. Dancing can fit into it. Oh, no, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's called candidu <laughs> <candidoon laughs> or vampire <laughs> fish. <laughs> and that happens because we have ammonia on our bodies yeah. and I feel attracted to it. So whenever somebody pees in the rivers in the Amazon, he'll smell the ammonia, swim out through you and go into the people's grinds. And the only way to get them out is by surgery, which could be a very risky. Well, these are the fully grown, like you said. <laughs> but when they're younger, they're smaller and transparent, so you cannot see them when they go into the body. And scales are like blades, so once they're really spread them out, that's a hot and cell thing. And that's why you can't just pull them out. You need a medical medical attention in order to get them out. Why Does it happen often? Why are they often? Crotters. Because if you're talking about them, I wouldn't. They won't say they want to go and give a body. No, actually they don't want to, but they just get attracted to ammonia, and when people pee, they release ammonia. Does that but happen a lot? Smell, not really, because okay. they prevent you, yeah, they, they warn you. Oh, um...